What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Colton from Seeking Wisdom Ministries, and may the joy of the Lord be our strength. And man, it's by God's grace I'm even here right now making a video <laughs> on this channel. I mean, as you can see, I just was in a car crash. I, I, a very serious one too. And <laughs> this happened Friday, today's Sunday. And I was gonna make a video the next day after the crash, but I just was thanking God that whole day. I was just in awe, you know, <laughs> of his protection, of his love and his mercy, and just reflecting on this life and how quickly you could leave this earth. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I read in the word of God, the men of God who were persecuted, Paul, you know, serving Jesus Christ and all the stuff he went through. But until it happens to you, there's just this mindset of, oh no, that happens to other people. But until it happens to you, you know, it's, it's, it's eye opening. Uh, I got in the car wreck Friday as I was on my way to go minister the gospel of Jesus Christ with some uh, brothers in Christ who, you know, I was going to spend some time with the weekend with. Today's Sunday. I just got done uh, at church. The Lord wants me to talk about it today. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be obedient. And I'm going to share the experience and glorify my God who is in heaven. I was on, I was in Nashville, I, I, I live in Houston, and I was on my way to Nashville, Tennessee, to record a song uh, by one of my good friends, and that whole day we did, you know, I was uh, 12 hours away, drove my car all the way to Nashville, Tennessee, ended up getting there Wednesday, like, you know, or no, Friday at 2 a.m., I got a hotel and then ended up getting with him and worshiping God all day Friday, all day Friday, we worshiped God, we prayed and it was amazing. And then that Friday around 7 p.m., I was gonna go to Kentucky to go minister the gospel and spend time with one of my brothers in Christ who actually came to Houston. And it was a two hour drive. It was kind of raining. And I was, the first hour, I just listened to a sermon and just try to stay in the spirit because I love driving. I love it. It's my time with God. It's my time of prayer. It's my time to just really just be alone with my creator and just love on him and, and cry out to him. And I never, you know, I never prayed in the car specifically for an hour straight in the spirit. But that first hour I was listening to a sermon, got fed very deeply, called my mom, and then I saw an hour left until I was going to get to my destination in, in Kentucky. And I felt the Lord told me. I know the Lord told me. I didn't feel. I, I know the Lord told me. Pray for this last hour. Pray for this last hour. I saw the time. It was like 102. And I wanted to pray. So for that last hour, I prayed. Hardcore in the spirit. I was praying in the spirit. I was praying in tongues. I was thanking God. I was glorifying him. I was, I was asking him for... Uh, forgiveness on certain ways I was acting. I, I was asking him for his love to consume me, for his fire to come down and just, I was glorifying him, pray, praising him, praying for protection when I'm going to go minister the gospel to where I'm going in Kentucky. I was praying that God, you will move, that you will bring protection, that you will expose the enemy's traps, God, that no weapon formed against this will prosper. <laughs> and then 47 minutes left. So I'm only like 15 minutes into prayer. My car uh, to 2020 that I that I got and the car has an AI part to where it, it lane departure assist. It has a cruise control, but I wasn't in cruise control. I was just praying and I was I was driving around. I was going like 75 miles per hour, and uh, it was at nighttime, very dark in the road. It just got done raining, so it was very soft and slick. And when I tried to go into the right lane to switch lanes, I put on my blinker, and the car didn't want me to go because it has a lane assist thing to where if you are leaving lanes it jerks you back into correct itself well I, I i moved lanes into the right as i was praying 
and I moved the lens to the right and my wheel started moving on itself. It turned, it jerked left, and then it tried to correct itself and jerked right all on itself. And I had no control and my car stuck. It stuck into the road, it swung, and then it just started rolling, rolling, rolling. What well, felt like forever. It felt so long, I was just rolling, 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 and it flipped like seven to eight times. And then I landed in a dip, ditch upside down. And I'm thinking, is this real life? Did this just actually happen? And I, I, I'm upside down and smoke is everywhere in my car and I unbuckle and I kick the door open and I stand up and not one scratch on my body. Not one scratch on my body. And, I, and, and I'm just in disbelief. I'm in like, no way. I was just praying. God told me this last hour to pray for a reason on my way to go minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. That happens. And God allowed it so that my God is going to be glorified because I'm still alive. I should be dead. But my Lord, my God had mercy on me and he saved me and he brought me through that. It was one of the most heart dropping, scary moments of my life where I, I mean, I never had a near death experience like that before. It was wild. It was, it was wild. But I, but I hear when, you know, in, in, in the middle of me turning, I just feel like I was in a bubble of protection. Like I was floating. Like I'm thinking at any moment now, I'm about to get my lights knocked out and go to heaven and meet my creator. And I feel like I'm floating just that whole time. It felt like forever. But by the grace of God in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky, there was a man who came and he was on the other side of the uh, median coming towards me. And he said he saw me flip over eight times. He thought he was gonna go up to a dead body. He said he saw me flow over. He, he took his truck with his family coming from a football game and he went across the media. And as soon as I landed, he went across and he went and he lit, it was like a ditch. So he went up and almost crashed himself to come to come rescue me. And he was screaming as soon as I landed upside down, smoke was going, you know, and I buckled and I kicked out, but I hear him going, hello, hello, are you awake? Are, is, are you, are you, are you okay? And I'm just like, Screaming, yes, yes, he couldn't find me because it was pitch black. I was underneath a ditch, as you can see right now. And I stood up, unbuckled, and kicked the door open. And I and I got out. And he said, I do not understand how you're in front of me right now walking. And I got on my knees right in front of him. And I got on my knees, and I looked up. And I said, Jesus. I said, Jesus is why. Jesus is why. He's not done with me. And I started praising him and weeping and saying, thank you, God, that I am without any sort of injury. And I was shaking. I was shaking, though. I was shaking up because that was the most like crazy experience I've ever been through. But then the Lord was reminding me of his word in Acts, how Paul, when everybody was on the ship and an angel of the Lord went to Paul and told him, that this is this ship is going to crash the ship will be destroyed but no one on board will be hurt and everyone else is freaking out and paul says no one's going to die we're all going to escape in it but the whole thing the whole ship got destroyed but not one of them died i mean that's beautiful like that's our god and it's just like it put in a deeper fire into me but it humbled me it humbled me because my life is not my own, my life was bought by the blood of the lamb and, and not one of us have control of when that day is gonna come, when you are gonna leave from this earth at any moment because things happen all the time, people die. I should have died, but I didn't, I didn't die. The car's totaled, the car's done, but I don't care about the car because this, the cars, the things in this life, they're gonna go, they're gonna leave, but their soul is eternal. And I get to live from that experience and glorify my creator, how he was with me, how he protected me. And I was praying the whole time. God knew that the, the enemy set a trap, but God allowed me to go through that because he was sovereign. God knew that I was going to eventually flip over eight times. But God already set a divine appointment for another man. A man to come and see and find a 19 year old kid being able to jump out of that car after rolling eight times, 75 miles per hour. That's wild. But we serve an amazing creator. And I just wanted to come on and share that because I, I mean, I, who knew, who knew that that was going to happen? You know, I, I, I could not 
it could have been a whole whole nother way and I wouldn't even be able to talk about this right now. But I thank God. I thank Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. And you know, I'm, I'm nobody. I decrease as he increases. I'm nobody. I'm just as vulnerable as any other human being walking this earth, driving. It could happen to anybody. But he gave me another shot. He gave me another shot to glorify his name. I am saved by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony. So I hope that any of you guys are it encouraged and impacted that God will bring allow certain things to happen in our lives but it's so that he is glorified and that the gospel will be preached the good news that we can come and we can repent of our sins that we can be granted everlasting life through the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony through the blood of Jesus Christ I thank God for all of you who are praying for this ministry uh, and I, I, I thank God for what he has next for my life and for those around me and be praying for the hearts that I'm going to go be ministering to, that I have been ministering to. I mean, they they, they they saw, I called them after, and I said, hey, man, can you pick me up 40 minutes from where uh, my destination? So they were able to come get me. Man, it was all supernatural. It was great. God is good. God is good. An awesome God. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your Sunday, and a blessed time whenever you're seeing this. In Jesus' name, amen. So I just flipped eight times in my car and I was praying to God the whole time. I had an hour left before I was getting to my destination and the car maneuvered out of control on lane departure and God saved me. I rolled eight times and I don't have a scratch on my body. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. So yeah, I'm here with Dawson Dowdy and his friends Connor and Zach. And you know, I'm just so thankful to God and he's a merciful creator. The, the crazy thing is, is I came out here to Kentucky to minister the gospel and to just spend some good quality time with my brothers in Christ. And the car maneuvered out of control because it, it is in 2020 and it, it uh, has an autopilot feature. I wasn't in autopilot, but it jerked my car and started maneuvering it for me. But I was praying. God told me there's an hour left. He said, pray. So I started praying in the Holy Ghost. I started praying in tongues and I started praying protection, protection. Now one scratch, I rolled eight times. And I and I, some guy came, he saw me roll eight times and he said, I saw you roll eight times. I don't know how you're alive right now. I told him because Jesus Christ, turn to him. He will save you.